So if you really want to make the most of machine, one of the things you need to do is to sort your library out. So this enables you to search for samples and categorize them all from the actual hardware itself. And it makes a world of difference, much, much easier to get this stuff out of the way. I know it's a little bit boring, but uh, it's worthwhile. So I'm going to take you through um, my journey. I'm doing this myself at the moment. Again, I kind of decided I wanted to kind of wipe everything clean and start from scratch. And uh, so you're going to kind of share some of the, the the process with me so i'll just come over to machine and um at the moment we can see the factory library and we've got the product types here so if i just rotate you're going to see that switching to battery and machine and other libraries um, these are machine expansions that i've got so these allow you to set the actual product come across and then you can switch to a type so we can go to drums and then switch to a clap and you get the list over here and it's ready to go so it's a great elegant fast fast system and wouldn't it be great if we could do this with our own sound libraries that we built up i've been saving samples for many years now i've got the stuff categorized reasonably well so i want to translate that into what's going on the machine here so we just push on to the user library and you know you can see here that i've got a few bits and pieces here i really need to expand on this and uh, i need to get it fixed up so i'm going to show you we're going to come to the software and what we need to do is to go to files and this is at the moment i'm in my sound library folder on my hard disk so there's a whole bunch of stuff here that i need to organize going back onto the library you can see that i've got some basic categories that i've started building up i've got drums i've got here some individual sounds different categories piano keys um this is interesting because i've got the george duke library from native instruments and i wanted them as just raw samples for cutting up so i've set it up with george duke keys electric piano grand piano so this is all from the interface here if i come back over here now i'm down at the samples level so over here i've got piano keys george keys grand piano i can flip over here and go to the next one or previous one so there we go electric piano that's in the list so that's cool let me just take off pre here and um so that's that's how it's going to organize over here but in order for this information to be here we've got to do this housekeeping stuff over here so it's a bit a bit long but uh it's worth it seriously so let's go back onto the file so say for example i want to add some more keyboard sounds i've got some stuff here um a real mixture of bits and pieces um let's say for example some keyboard stabs so you can see a list here and um let's have a look outer chords there's some quite nice ones in here i think let's have a look let's put a pre here back on in fact <laughs> I need to do the audition on here okay of course because it's not in the library yet is it this is the files so remember the two sides files over here it's not in the hardware yet um this is literally on the hard disk so i need to get it all into the library so the hardware knows what's going on so maybe these are quite good um let me come back up a level i'm going to put these chords outer chords into my chords section that i've got over on my library so you see over here chord I've got just one sample in there at the moment. So I want to stick all of those in here. Let's go back onto the file section and I'm going to select that folder and right click. And then we say here, import to library. So basically it scans through and we're going to have all of those in there, but I need to specify where they're going to go. So have a look, there's my category for chord. If I flag this, they're all going to be put in there, but I could use subcategories as well if I want. I can push the plus here. Let me just put them in for the moment so you can see that. So look, it's just scanning through. It's found them. Now, I can go over to the hardware now, and let's take a look. Let's just um, get this back on here. So reinstating it there. So look, chord now, as well as the chord deeper, um, I've got these others in the list. So we can come down. Oh man, that I've used that on a few things, that particular one. So look, it's there, I can load it up. And then just quickly go to pad mode, keyboard, and then... Um, by the way, that's playing for a long time because the envelope is set to one shot at the moment. And um, just in case you want to get that sorted out, let's just come out over here and go across one shot. Let's go to the ADSR. So now... So... 
it's a great way to start building up your library you know if we go back onto browse the chords are all in there i could subcategorize but let me take a look um well, we've got some stab sounds maybe i need a stab category as well um you know my existing library i do have stabs all gathered together as you can see so let's do this now this is on my hard disk remember so don't go moving your samples um, otherwise machines going to get confused so keep them where they are it's just going to make a reference to them in the library it's almost like a database um, so right click big stabs i'm going to import a library let's come down here let's see if we've got stabs um, no so i'm going to click on the plus and going to say here stabs so stabs are ticked all of these are going to go in there I'm going to click OK so it's scanning building up its database and we'll have a new category in a second once that's finished and back onto the hardware let's have a look so there we go stabs you see them and uh, in fact what I want to do is I want you to see this over here um, so obviously the hardware you can see what's going on let me switch that again so we're going through the categories and stabs you can see them. Let's uh, see what's going on with these. Whoa, that's a good sound. That's got a great vibe. So it's sounding a bit like a kind of Masters at Work kind of uh, sort of Afro House kind of jam there. Um, so it's got a really good vibe. So, you know, look, you can see the benefit. Once again, let's do something different. Um, what shall I do? Shall I have a look for something else um, on the library? Um, effects what have we got here i've got some vengeance effects maybe i should just stick them in as a little um demo explosions have got some nice impacts these are pretty good I seem to remember these uh well that kind of business yeah that's gonna be really handy so explosions would be a good category inside a effects kind of root category so if we come down i'm going to say here import to library but i'm gonna do something a bit different here so we're going to have um Right, there is in fact a sound effects category here, so I'm going to tick on there. Um, I haven't got an impact category there, so I'm going to do that. Or even explosions could be good. So explosions inside sound effects, I'm going to click OK. It's going to scan that folder again, put it into the library, which is on machine. So it's a database referencing the samples on my hard disk. So let's come back onto library on the interface here. I'm going to come over here and uh, there we go rotating sound effects they're all here now Whoa, some of them sound painful um, so just gonna come onto the files and uh, you know you get a picture so I had my root folder which is sound effects and I had the explosion inside there um, maybe sweeps maybe this is a good category so let's do the same again let me come back up so once again, in the files on my hard disk, import to the library and uh, sound effects and uh, yeah, no category there for sweeps. So we're going to make it sweeps and click OK. Once again, scanning my hard disk, making references to where the audio files are kept and building up this database inside machine, which can be used on the hardware so it's going to take some time but it's worth it you know you can tell that so sound effects subcategory sweeps you can see that on the hardware yeah in the sweeps or we can go back to explosions i hope you didn't have um, your headphones on loud there um so yeah that's it so literally that's the procedure so it's creating your own library your user library and this is basically where it's references to the audio files and you can search scan for stuff on the hardware really quickly and easily well worth doing